हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू आर लेक्चर ऑन पिट्यूटरी ट्यूमर्स सो इन द पिट्यूटरी ट्यूमर्स वी हैव लर्न्ड इन आर लास्ट क्लास अबाउट पिट्यूटरी एडिनोमा एंड आल्सो क्रेनियो फैरिंजियोमा इन द पिट्यूटरी एडिनोमा वी हैव लर्न्ड ओनली द पैथोजेनेसिस ऑफ पिट्यूटरी एडिनोमा इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट द अदर ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द पिट्यूटरी एंड देन हाउ विल यू एवैल्यूएट इट एंड हाउ विल यू ट्रीट द पिट्यूटरी ट्यूमर्स सो फर्स्ट लेट अस लर्न अबाउट द सेलुलर कांड्रोमा सेलर कॉन्ड्रोमा इट इज ए इट प्रेजेंट्स इट इज ए पिटरी ट्यूमर विच इज बिनाइन एंड इट प्रेजेंट्स विद बोनी क्लाइवल इरोजन देर इज अ क्लाइवल बोन राइट दैट इज इरोडेड एंड देर इज ऑल्सो लोकल इन्वेजिवनेस देर इज ओनली लोकल इन्वेजिवनेस एंड देर इज कैल्सिफिकेशन ऑन एम आर आई द pituitary is normal normal pituitary tissue is seen on mri it differentiates it from chondroma or other tumors and if you do fine needle aspiration then you see mucinous materials so this is the thing which is about cella chondroma and now the other tumor which can be seen is meningioma these meningiomas these meningiomas arising in cellular region so meningiomas arising in cellular region it is difficult to distinguish from the normal pituitary non functioning adenoma so these meningiomas on mri show evidence of calcification or it can also show bony erosion and this will cause compressive symptoms these meningiomas will cause compressive symptoms and then the next type is histiocytosis x this histiocytosis x it is associated with eosinophilic granuloma and here in this histiocytic s it sh- it will be uh, you know granulomas on mri plus um diabetes mellitus insipidus plus exophthalmos exophthalmos plus punched out lytic bone lesion all these are associated with a syndrome which is called as hand scular hand scular christian disease so histiocytosis x uh, has also a type which is uh, hand scular christian disease we will learn about it in detail in hematology topic it is also associated with axillary skin rash so this is one of the uh, rare lesion which is uh, rare mass of cellular region and then and then there may be also pituitary metastasis so these pituitary metastasis are mostly blood borne and the and in them and here uh, half of these pituitary metastasis are from breast carcinoma then diabetes insipidus can be one of the clinical feature which is seen in lung gastrointestinal breast cancers and then uh, if you do mri in mri the diagnosis of this metastatic lesion is very difficult uh, to distinguish from the normal pituitary primary tumor okay so this is about pituitary metastasis and then hypothalamic hamartoma hypothalamic hamartoma and gangliocytoma so these will arise from astrocytes and then oligodendrocytes 
and also neurons with varying degrees of differentiation here there is uh, these uh, hamartoma and gangliocytoma increase uh, the expression of hypothalamic neuropeptides mainly because it is a hypothalamic tumor so it causes increased expression of hypothalamic neuropeptides so because of this there is increasing gonadotropin releasing hormone increasing growth hormone releasing hormone and increasing cortisol releasing hormone so what happens so because of increased gonadotropin releasing hormone there is in children you can see precocious puberty and you can also see psychomotor delay and there is seizures which are associated with laughing associated with seizures so these are things which are seen so for treatment you can give long acting gonadotropin releasing hormone analogs okay so this is whenever there is increased gonadotropin releasing hormone sometimes it is associated with craniofacial abnormalities the craniofacial abnormalities and it can be associated with imperforate hymen sorry anus i'm sorry imperforate hymen anus it can be associated with cardiac renal and lung disorders and also with pituitary failure this collectively called has a syndrome which is palister hull syndrome this palister hull syndrome it is majorly caused by the mutations of carboxy terminal of gl13 gene okay so this is one of the type we have one of the syndrome which is associated with hypothalamic hamartomas and gangliocytoma the treatment of this hamartoma is trans spinoidal surgery is the first indication and then the other type of tumor is hypothalamic glioma this hypothalamic glioma or it is also called as optic glioma so this is occurs in childhood that is in the children and it is usually associates it with visual loss in adults it is more aggressive and it can be associated with um neurofibromatosis which is a tumor which is associated with genetics so it is associated with neurofibromatosis in one third of the patients of hypothalamic glioma the next uh, cellular masses can be brain germ cell tumor in cellular region so this includes this germinoma here in this brain cell germ cell tumor this this germinoma causes diabetes in supidus and also visual loss they rarely metastasize and in paracellular region it is associated with some of the tumors like embryonic carcinoma teratoma or corio carcinoma all these will produce hcg 
that is human chorionic gonadotrophin and they will present with precocious puberty due to increased gonadotrophin releasing hormone diabetes insipidus and visual field defects if there is growth hormone deficiency this will lead to short stature so these are the different cellular masses which are associated with pituitary now let us learn about the metabolic effects of hypothalamic lesions the metabolic effects of hypothalamic lesions include so these include number 1 par whenever whenever okay first paradoxical vasoconstriction tachycardia and hyperthermia all these will occur whenever there are lesions in anterior and preoptic hypothalamic regions in preoptic hypothalamic regions and anterior re anterior to hypothalamus then you see these effects okay whenever there is hemorrhagic insult this hemorrhagic insult can cause acute hyperthermia because by hypothalamus is one of the important region for uh, regulation of temperature whenever there is posterior hypothalamic damage in such situations you can see central disorders of thermoregulation these central disorders of thermoregulation are seen in posterior hypothalamic damage there is also a syndrome which is periodic hypothermia syndrome in this periodic hypothermia syndrome it is mainly characterized by episodic attacks of rectal temperature which is less than 30 degree celsius and there is sweating and then vaso dilatation then vomiting and tachycardia so these are the periodic hypothermia hypothermia syndromes so some um whenever there is damage to ventromedial hypothalamic nucleus this will lead to hyperphagia and also obesity we will learn about all these in our later uh, classes so evaluation of this uh, uh, pituitary masses we will learn in our next class thank you guys for watching my lecture if you have any doubt please comment it in the comment section if you feel something is inadequate in this lecture please comment it in the comment section uh, thank you for watching my lecture in our next class we will learn about the evaluation of this uh, pituitary tumor thank you for watching my lecture thank you